So let's kick this presentation off with our brand new planar deburring operation, which automatically creates deburring paths on prismatic parts. You don't have to do anything more than generating the toolpath, but obviously maybe you say okay the holes are already deburred through the hole making operations or through FBM automation and you can exclude holes as you've seen here. So let's deburr the second side and create the toolpath there as well. Therefore we copy the operation and we will change the tool axis. So we go to tool axis and just switch it, flip the part around, select the new tool axis here, click generate and we have deburred this complete part with just two operations and in a couple of seconds. We can also track already deburred edges as you can see here. So the top face has been done with a different chamfer size. System automatically recognizes that. Here you can see the deburring in action on a titanium part. And this is the result. Nicely deburred edges. And now we can go to the surface finishing. The adaptive pattern is now also available in planar milling. Here you can see a part that has formerly been milled with a trochoidal path, which you can now easily switch to an adaptive path. You have to adjust a couple of settings like the minimum curvature radius as you desire it, adjusting the low height transfer moves, and then you can adjust also the low height transfer height, generate a toolpath, and here you go, you have the adaptive pattern in planar milling. Adaptive milling is now supporting region multi-threading. On the left you can see your part generated in NX June 2020, which took 1 minute and 18 seconds. And on the right side you can see it in the December version, where it only takes 22 seconds to generate. It depends on the part geometry on how much this multi-threading affects the generation time. Sometimes it can take a couple of iterations to get the right toolpath with guiding curves. Maybe you have to adjust your curves a couple of times so that you get the desired results. This is why we now allow a pattern preview that you can use to see how the pattern will look like after the generate. And this will just make it much faster to iterate if you will get the desired result. In Flow and Wall it's now possible to set the floor or the wall stock to an equal value like the part stock. You can just check in either the floor or the wall stock or set both in the floor wall operation to a similar value as it is defined in the part stock. This will save you some programming time. One of the highlights in the new version is the multi-channel roughing operation in turning. As you can see here, you can do two modes. You can do a balanced mode or you can do a merged mode. You can create this new operation inside the turning group. Here you will see the balanced mode and in comparison the merged mode. Here you can see the deviation between the tools and the cool thing is that the turning algorithm will automatically set the synchronization marks. This is how spectacular this looks on the machine. and you should for sure give it a try. Additionally to the cool multi-axis roughing turning pattern, we now added optimized cut patterns. 
which will ensure a safe and smooth transition into the material and you can define how smooth the corners should be. Here you can see the smooth entries and exits. Here you can define the different corner settings in turning. In addition to this very cool new optimized cut patterns for turning, we are now allowing to adjust the feed rate through the chip thickness. Therefore, the system will detect the chip thickness at every point in the toolpath and adjust the feed rate based on your inputs that you would want to have it adjust. These two new options will reduce tool wear and also improve the machining times. In addition to that you can apply the corner feed rates which you can display in the toolpath listing. A new customer default enables that you can enter the synchronization manager faster through skipping the time calculation process. It is now possible to access post-processing for multi-channel machines without the necessity to enter the synchronization manager. Depending on the part size of your turning part, it might be necessary to change the spun outline tolerance. This is now possible through a customer default and it's not necessary anymore to set this former environment variable. In the reference GMC operations we now allow to use the tool diameter in the expressions. So this should enhance the extended use of expressions inside our reference GMC operations and therefore speed up your programming workflows. Our powerful FBM automation application has now a brand new create feature process mechanism. This mechanism will allow much faster create feature process creations and therefore you will get your operations much faster as you can see in this example here. You can see the operations are already created and the last step that you have to do is just generate the path. The new machining feature navigator framework in FBM allows you to display now all the created feature groups and see the attached features. It is also possible to display or not display the machining areas or the coordinate systems as you can see here. You can also configure the columns. I'm now going to pull up the diameter here to the top and I'm going to right click on the diameter and say I want to just search for a specific size of features let's say 10 millimeters, click OK and you will immediately see these filtered features here. One of the smaller but very useful features is the Detail Panel Tooltip. Just hover over your features in the machining feature navigator and the most important values will be displayed. We have enhanced the blank creation and with this new mechanism it is now possible to do the block or the cylinder creation either as a solid body or as an assembly component. First we are going to create a solid body and we are going to display a blank as well as the part box. As you can see PMIs get automatically created along with the block here so that you can immediately see the distances from the part box to the blank and you can also see the part and also the block sizes immediately. Of course you can display or highlight these in the uh, feature navigator 
We're doing the same steps again. This time I'm going to create it as an assembly component and I will show you where the attributes are to have the inherit design data option visible. We're going to print the part and also the blank block again and display PMIs going along with it. Here you can see the part as an assembly component and here are the attributes. If you're using Mold Wizard or the Electrode Design, then you will automatically have these attributes. A new and intuitive MCS definition is also available. Just go into the MCS dialog and then you can click on any point, on any desired point in this box here. You can select sides, you can um, the corners or you can select the middle of the part whatever you desire and this can be all done graphically. The new object compare tool will help you with updating customized templates. In this example you will see how to compare two operations and see the differences. Just select two of them and display. So it will only show you the differences and you can adjust them here in the floor wall operation and you will see a couple of differences here you see a couple of more differences in these two templates and now we can adjust them. the new mass edit functionality will allow you to edit multiple operations at the same time in this case we are changing the spot drilling operations and we are change, changing the offset in, in Z and after we have done that we will take a look at all the operations have been changed in this parameter you can see this here and as the next steps we are going to change a couple of hole milling operations and we will change the cut pattern there you can see set it to helical and spiral and this is how fast you can edit multiple operations in one shot. It is now possible to define a tool relief. It is possible to define that in a 5 parameter tool or in a ball mill. Therefore you can just define a tool relief, also a tool relief length and you will see this being reflected on the tool. Should help you to define your tools more accurate and also be valuable to see this in simulation. It is now possible to search for CAM dependent geometries only in the CAM replacement assistant. Therefore let's change the part here with the replacement and now you can see that the wavelink is broken. Let's jump into the wavelink and select the new part. Go to the replacement assistant. And now here you can filter for cam dependent geometries only. Let's search for these um, cam dependent objects. Here you see them. populate the list and we can approve them one by one or approve all of them. This is how you bring back the connection to replace part even if their position is changed or if their geometry is changed. This is the result, fully functional new wavelength. The new process patterning feature will allow you to use patterns from the CAD, from the design side of things, and use them in program groups. This is a much faster way than the regular pattern moves, and 
Here you can also display the patterns. Create them first and then we will display them and you can use them in simulation or you can use them in post-processing and this will increase the speed to pattern some features. It's now possible to display the tool axis direction on the endpoints. Here you can see it. On each endpoint you will get to see the direction of the tool axis. You can define that in a preference and customer default faults. You can define the length of these lines that will display the tool axis. the December 2020 version, the NXCAM assembly load option settings will always be set to the fully load option. You can define if you would like to have this behavior in the customer defaults. If you unset this option, then it will just load it as a lightweight. The probing templates have been adjusted to the Explorer style. As you can see here, one example and next one. So all operations are now available in the really popular Explorer format. In our unique and powerful MLP application, it is now possible to report to a spreadsheet and it will show you various things like the operations used, machining times, the tools being used and you can adjust it and define whatever you want in this uh, spreadsheet, so it is adjustable. And this will be available and help you to de define your automotive um, manufacturing lines. In the MLP it is also now possible to show the operation status. So whenever you change an operation status in the CAM setup, like we do it now here, we generate one program group. You will actually see it now in the MLP application. Here you see the change. The definition file editor is extended with the zero format option which allows you to define an output format if the value of the given address is zero. The editor is additionally enhanced by the omit option to suppress an output in context of a specific condition, e.g. if the spindle should not output in the NC code. With the latest release, it's now possible to move block templates into different layers and modify them as needed. New block templates can be created easily with the layer selection option. We are happy to announce a new help tool for Post Configurator to eliminate the block box character of Post Configurator libraries. The application can be downloaded from the Post Hub and is easily integrated in your environment. After the download, the application can be integrated in your NX environment. For example, as a new app in your ribbon bar. After the start of the application, you will have access to the source code of Post Configurator. If you are interested in standard commands, select one and all the interesting details are shown. The application will be updated for every Post Configurator library version and it will be visible in the user interface. To find the command quickly, you can use the search, for example using the mom start off. You can check the integration of every controller with the controller currently being selected in the user interface. You can try NXCAM in a free streaming trial and also make sure to check out our NXCAM community and subscribe to it. See you soon!